Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a bonus love reading. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So just keep that in mind and let's jump right in. Spirits, Angels, Guides, Messages for Sagittarius when it comes to love for Sagittarius, please. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? What do they need to know? When it comes to love. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. First card out. What else for Sagittarius? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. This could be the one. Wow. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Wow. Okay. Using the Vice Versa Tarot today for Sagittarius. What messages do you have for Sagittarius, please? For Sagittarius, March 2021. What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit? When it comes to love. Okay, we got two of swords. Eight of swords reverse. We got the six of pentacles. Out of the deck, I have judgment. An awakening, a rebirth, a resurrection, learning from past mistakes. I find it interesting that the Two of Swords is here and it's right under the Trust Oracle card here. So I feel like there's something that maybe you're not sure of, an offer that you need to make a decision on, or someone you're dealing with has to make a difficult decision. and. It's difficult to make because it requires having some sort of faith in like the outcome of something. So let's see. Tell me about this Two of Swords. What's this about? What's the Two of Swords about for Sagittarius? Page of Swords. Yeah, so you need information. Possibly this is something to do with um, a message, like delivering a message. Two of Wands reverse. This is definitely a choice. But with the Page of Swords, there's curiosity. There is information. There is uh, communication, clarity. Hmm. Tell me more about this Two of Swords. Knight of Swords reverse. And then the Nine of Wands with the Five of Cups. So, well, Chariot right after that, Cancer Energy. So what I'm picking up here is this decision, someone does not want to jump in um, too quickly. Someone's possibly worried about choosing the wrong path here, making the wrong choice. This could be you making a choice between two people, you making a choice that will affect a connection, you know, or vice versa. There's there's something here that happened in the past that I feel was difficult. And now there's like a barrier that you, you have or someone else has me, you know, flip it if it resonates. But um, I feel like this trusting is not easy. Because there's, there's regrets, something missing from the past, difficulties in the past. Um, and then I have the Nine of Wands. So it's almost like whatever happened here... There is a resistance, a protection, a wariness um, regarding making some sort of move here. Tell me more about this Two of Wands reverse. And it's interesting that I have the Eight of Swords reverse because this is someone that needs to get out of their head. The Hierophant, Page of Pentacles, wow. Page of Pentacles here. 
some sort of offer, um, something to do with commitment. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, the Hierophant is um, a card about values. They follow the rules, very traditional. Can symbolize commitment, something official. So this decision could have something to do with um, a long-term commitment or maybe this is something that is a very official choice. Wow, the fool. Beautiful. Yeah, this is this is all about taking a risk. That's why it requires trust, faith. This is someone taking a leap of faith. Because freedom here. Why the Eight of Cups? Not the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Swords reverse. Why am I thinking about the Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Swords reverse? Wow. Page of Pentacles again. So some sort of opportunities coming in here to help someone get out of their head, to help someone um, break free of something. There's the Eight of Cups. I was thinking about the Eight of Cups. Why? Yes, so this is the message, guys. Eight of Cups. Someone needs to walk away from something, and it's a new opportunity. This could be somebody asking you out on a date. Ooh. Ace of Swords, reverse. I have the Ace of Wands here at the top. And what's at the bottom? The Seven of Pentacles, reverse. And then I have the King of Cups. Interesting. I feel like this walking away, this decision, I'm not seeing deception here. I'm seeing a lack of clarity. Someone's blinded. There's something, you don't know all the answers. You don't know where this is going to lead. I feel like you're walking with a blindfold or taking a risk here. You could have, um, some of you I could see, maybe you walked away because of deception. Um, but more than anything, I'm seeing this as someone that's taking an opportunity and kind of like running with it here. Why the Six of Pentacles? This is balance, give and take. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Empress, wow. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. Lovers, reverse, Gemini energy. Four of Pentacles, holding back, being conservative. Have the star at the bottom of the deck here, Aquarius energy, and then the uh, Nine of Swords reverse. Why the lovers reverse? Just want to get some clarity here. Why is the lovers reverse? Eight of Wands. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Temperance reverse, there you are Sagittarius. This is about, about movement, communication. There's judgment again. And the Two of Cups reverse. Some of you could have separated from someone, you or your person. If it's not a separation, it's a disconnect. Because I have the Lover's Reverse and the Temperance card Reverse. Um, and here, the Temperance card Reverse, for some reason, I feel the... the mm, how do I say it? Something has not come together in harmony. There's a dis, a, an imbalance, right? And I feel like someone has held back because of this. Um this empress is someone who has a lot to offer the empress is able to manifest make things work um they plant seeds and it kind of like turns into gold tell me more about the empress i don't know if this is you or if this is kind of like an abundance energy that's you know a manifestation of abundance if this is what's happening tell me about the empress 
why is the empress here basically what i'm seeing is in the midst of like chaos is what i want to say ah nine of swords i feel like there's um in the midst of chaos and anxiety fear i feel like there's a, a rebalancing happening here a give and take here um because i have the eight of wands seven of swords yes so okay seven of swords nine of swords there's worry anxiety fear over maybe being deceived dealing with someone sneaky so interesting i feel like i'm getting like a story here three of pentacles some of you are wondering if you're going to get hurt three of swords at the bottom here there could be a third person involved but it's interesting. I feel like the Empress knows. It's like the Empress is someone of value. They have a lot of worth there. And everything they touch turns to gold. Um, they tend to manifest, right? Um, so I feel like if there was a separation, if there is an imbalance, this Empress is not truly affected. Um, this Empress is probably holding back or saving or um, being careful, being very careful. Because underneath there's fear. That's why this situation is calling for you to have faith. There's a trust issue here. Trust is not easy. There's a risk that's, that someone needs to take. I feel like this is connected to this offer. Um, whatever offer opportunity this is with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like it's going to require a risk, a leap of faith, and not really knowing where it's going to go but 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 you're going to go for it anyway you're going to depart you know with the eight of cups you're, you're going to go on this journey and you're going to walk away and find whatever it is that you need to to go after now some of you could be dealing with someone that needs to walk away from a situation in order to bring you um a an opportunity here this could be the one let's see tell me more about this person What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Sagittarius? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Sagittarius? I regret what happened. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Sagittarius spirit? I wasn't honest with you. I'm afraid to tell you how I feel at the bottom of the deck. So interesting. You could be dealing with someone from that you've already known. And I, for some reason, I feel like some of you are dealing with two different people. Uh, someone from the past that possibly deceived you and someone new. And there's a fear of being deceived. Others of you, this is the same person. There's communication coming in here for sure. I have um, the Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. Um, I'm also, you know, getting this, um, this energy of being given something like, you know, if this is an offer, um, I feel like it's going to be a decision you have to make. Any messages or advice for Sagittarius, please. You know, this could also be someone here being very strategic, working very hard to get your attention. But there's a fear of being rejected. So take it as it resonates. Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing all of those different scenarios. Good news on the way. Yep. There's some sort of message coming in here. Can I get one more? For Sagittarius. All that glitters isn't gold. Yeah, I feel like this is the fear. Someone, yeah, release the past at the bottom of the deck. Someone needs to release the past because there's always this fear of being deceived or or dealing with the same old, same old. Some of you need to release the past and walk towards something new here. A new opportunity. And that's why it's so difficult because I feel like you're going to have many options. 
All right, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this uh, bonus reading resonated with you. Hopefully um, you enjoyed it. Hit the like button and subscribe. If you enjoy these bonus readings, leave me a comment if it resonated. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.